Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Math with McMurdo. All right, these two problems. Brayden, this problem, we have 49 subtract, open bracket, inside parentheses 2 times 5 plus parentheses 3 times 8, close bracket. So where should I start, Brayden? Okay, in the brackets. So which one should I do first in the brackets? Two times five. Good, because it comes first. Two times five is what, Brayden? Two times five is ten. Ten. Plus, what's three times eight, Brayden? Um, Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Now, we haven't finished inside the brackets. We're still inside the brackets because we still have an operation inside the brackets. Not like an operation where they're cutting you open and taking out your appendix. Not that kind of operation. <laughs> Riley, where do I go next for this next step? Do we have grouping symbols? Yes. Yeah, thank you, Riley. And so we start with them. So, Riley, what is 10 plus 24? 34. So the sum of 10 and 24 is 34. So now we have 49 subtract 34. We're done with the brackets. We've done all the operations inside the brackets. Nevea, what is 49 minus 34? 15. 15. 15. Mariska, what did you get for the answer for this one? Two? Okay. You, have, you got two also? Yeah. Same. Same? All right. Samson, are there any grouping symbols? No. No. Is there any multiplication or division? Yes. Yes, so that's where we start. Oh. So it's 100 divided by 5? 20. 20. 110 minus 20 is? 90. 90. 90. Remember, go through the list every time. Go through the list every single time. Yeah. Because you start with division. You don't do 110 minus 100. And Multiplication and division comes before addition and subtraction. I see the reason you looked at this and thought, oh, that's easy to do. 110 minus 100. And then divide it by 5. Yeah. Boom. Oh. Right, we have these two problems. We talked about the steps when doing these two problems. Now, is this. Is this like a problem inside the brackets? No. No. So the two next to this means we do what? Multiply. Multiply. So this is like saying two times six. So this is like saying two times six. So if we look at our grouping symbols, do we have any grouping symbols once we write it the way we normally would write it? Do we have any grouping symbols? No. Do we have multiplication or division? Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. So which do we start with? Division. Division. Why division? Because we're this is the same step, and we move from left to right. So what is eight divided by two? Four. Anybody? Four. 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 Now I haven't done the times six yet, so four times six is. 24. So this simplifies down, and it'll say simplify this expression is probably the way you'll see it. Yeah. Simplify this expression. And it comes down, I kind of like to say tornado because that's more violent and destructive. Some people say like a funnel, but they're nicer than I am. So Now this problem, does it have a problem in grouping styles, in grouping symbols? Yes. Yes. So where do we start? 
I can't hear because Jordan is speaking. Where do we start? In the grouping symbol. In the grouping symbol is what? Six. Six. Now this neck right next to the parentheses, what does that mean? Times. times. So we have three times six, which is going to equal 18. Okay? So that's going to equal 18. Boom, shakalaka, peace out. God bless, love you. Do something kind today. Save the bees, like, share, and subscribe.